Hey guys, Brian here. I just wanted to do a video on um, dump trucking and like how much owner operators make with a single truck. Um, and so I'm just gonna div dive right in and show you guys kind of what what I've done so far um, in my business. And this is, you know, don't take all this for 100%, you know, like you're going to do the same thing uh, because it's going to be different for everybody. But I'm just showing you guys my experience as an owner operator and, uh, you know, that whole jazz. Okay, so how much do owner operators make? Okay, so I'm going to zoom into this income and expense trend right here. So in May, as you guys know, I didn't work the first week of May because I uh, was fixing the truck. So I missed out on one week in May. So this right here is going to tell us how much I made. That's how much I made. And then right here it's going to tell us our expenses, right? Um, now this is kind of skewed because of the fact that uh you know we let me just put it this way uh the way we inputted all of our previous uh expenses like all the stuff that we uh bought for the truck and all that other stuff so that's why it's showing that the expenses was you know basically the same as the income um june as you guys know, I took a week off in vacation, and I just want to show you guys uh, how we did in June. Um, this is our expenses in June, right? Okay, and then right here, this is our first quarter, so, so far, this is how much we've made total. And then right over here, it's going to show you guys, um, these are some invoices right here. The red ones are past due, and these ones were just billed. Um, the red ones, see, I have mine set up for net 15, which that's why it's showing red. Most companies pay every 30 days. So I have it set up so it's due in 15, um, but... I don't get paid until 30 days. So it just kind of reminds me which ones are coming up close. You know, which ones are halfway matured, basically. And which ones aren't even close. So at the top is the the one that's currently due. And then it just kind of shows you uh, what is coming up. Okay, then I want to show you guys down here. Let me drag this down. Okay, so this is a pretty good representation of the expense breakdown. This is for uh, ju uh, June so far. So for fuel so far, $2,500 in fuel. Repairs, $1,563 in repairs. And that's for just random stuff. Like, for example, this month I had to buy those drop axle tires and those struts. So that's why this month is pretty high on the expenses. You're not going to have to buy tires every month. You know, so this was about, I don't know, I want to say like $500 before I bought the tires, roughly. This right here is the insurance. This right here is uh, professional fees that I have paid this month. And this is other accounts like other stuff okay so that's the expense breakdown for this month okay trying to film this is kind of rough but uh okay so basically you guys want to know if it if you can make money okay so this month, and this is for Seattle, guys. So, as you guys know, um, I've been doing really well. 
Like uh, Seattle pays more than most areas, so we're making for anywhere from one ten to one twenty five an hour. And on occasions, there are special jobs that pay one forty, one eighty, you know. But those are, f you know, few and far and in between, basically. So one ten to one twenty five is kind of like the range in Seattle area that I've experienced so far. And uh, so. So out of this income, these are the expenses that you see, okay? So out of this, I still have to take 30% of this, the net income, 30% goes to taxes, right? So I don't know the exact numbers on that, um, what that comes out to. Um, but let's say if it was 20 Twenty thousand instead of eighteen. That'd be about six grand goes to uh you know pay Uncle Sam out of this eight out of you know if it were twenty six thousand dollars would go to pay Uncle Sam. So right there you got ten grand basically or eleven thousand dollars gone right just gone for expenses. Uh, that's fuel and paying Uncle Sam, and then you gotta you gotta pay for your own medical insurance. That's you know fifteen hundred bucks out of that. Then you got other stuff that's coming out on top of that, right? Another thing I want to show you guys. So this is a little breakdown right here. This right here is kind of cool. This tells me. How much is unpaid and how much has been paid, right? And so this is QuickBooks too, you guys. Um, so if you want to do a business, I would recommend getting QuickBooks. So this right here tells me this is the AR by aging period. So one to thirty days overdue. That's how much is overdue. One one to thirty days. So this column is actually not really overdue because people pay one to 30 days. Once it gets over 30 days, then it'll come into this category. And that's when I have to start calling people and saying, Hey, uh, you know, you're getting kind of far out there with my money. What's up? What's the deal? You know, and this is just brand new stuff right here. Right. So I just wanted to show you guys that now I don't know if you guys can see me or not good or what. I don't know about the lighting. So I'm just going to tell you my thoughts on, you know, being a dump truck owner operator and all that jazz. <clears throat> if you're asking yourself if it's worth it for the money and stuff, then you're probably not the type of person that will do too well in as an owner operator the reason being is is if you have to ask if it's worth it then you're gonna have a rough time because you don't want to do a lot of work at least that's the way i feel that's the way i think you know if you're gonna have to ask yourself if it's worth it um you're the type of person that kind of wants to just, you know, go throughout life easily, you know, and just have like a day job type of thing. That would be best for you. But if you're the type of person that you're, um, you don't really care how much you make as long as you're happy doing what you're doing, then, you know, being an owner operator is probably something you could look into. Um, now I'm not saying this is a hundred percent for everybody, you know, but, um, so you guys seen the figures, um, of what the business is bringing in so far, the, now you have to ask yourself, okay, how many hours do I really work a day and is it worth it? Okay. So, like, if I, uh, you know, you guys probably don't understand how many hours I work a day. Um, 
Today is a Saturday, and I worked from 7 in the morning to 7 at night, fixing everything that was broken on the dump truck. New struts, uh, you know, uh, I fixed the headlight, I fixed, you know, I changed the oil, I greased everything, I fixed the tailgate. Every, every single day something is going to break or every other day something is going to break and you have to fix those. They don't just magically get fixed. So, as an owner-operator, you either have to fix it yourself or you have to pay a mechanic. Um, the second you stop doing the work yourself and you start paying other people, you, you lose so much money. It's unreal how fast the money disappears when you start paying other people to do the work for you. So, basically... Um, if you can do everything yourself and not complain, well, you're, everybody's going to complain. Uh, if you can do all the work yourself and find some sort of motivation to motivate you to work, you know, if you're a self-starter, then yeah, go for it. You know, it's, it's an awesome lifestyle. And it is a lifestyle, guys. It's not like just a job. It's a lifestyle. You know, um... There's a lot of perks to it. You get the tools, you get the toys, you get, you know, and most of it you can write it off in the business. Um, and you pretty much have to, because if you don't, then Uncle Sam's just going to take 30%, you know. So the, the more you can lower that income down, the less you have to pay out. Okay, now, uh, lost my train of thought, um, so, now, okay, so you guys seen what I'm making, you seen the expense breakdown, you seen all that, okay, now, here's another question you have to ask yourself. I paid for everything with cash, so I own my truck. I am not paying somewhere to park it, okay? If you guys finance a truck, just add another $2,000 to that expense, $3,000, $4,000, $5,000 to that expense right there per month, right? And then if you're renting a place to park the truck, Add that into your monthly expenses too, right? And then, um, you know, the expenses, they will eat you up if you're, not, if you're not paying attention, if you're not, you know, keeping everything locked down, you know, the money flies out the window as fast as it flies in. So really, can you make money? Yes, you, there's money in it, okay? There's definitely money in it. But the thing is, is keeping the money is hard. It's kind of hard because it flies out so fast. And, you know, when something breaks, you, you have to fix it ASAP. You don't, you don't get, you know, two weeks to hop on it later because when you do, other stuff starts breaking because you didn't fix it. You know, and then, so is it, if you ask yourself, is it worth it? I don't know if it's worth it, guys, but I'm doing it not for the worth it part. I'm doing it because it's what I, what I love to do. I love to be my own boss. I love to decide, um, you know, if I want to work for somebody or work for somebody else. If I want to take a job or turn a job down, you know, or if, you know, yeah, I don't know how to explain it, guys. Um, 
it can be worth it, but it's definitely hard. Like, there's so many hours that you work that you don't get paid for. Like, the past two days, I was driving up to I-90. Um, the first day, I had 15 hours on the clock. And that was only drive time, right? That doesn't account for the time when I got home that I filled out the truck ticket and then put it into QuickBooks, which was probably another hour and a half, right? So that day I ended up working 16 and a half hours, you know, for, you know, 1200 bucks. And then I had to put $300 worth of fuel in the truck you know, um, the expenses can eat you guys up. Like, it looks like we're making tons of money, but really a lot of it goes, goes back out. Um, so is it worth it? To me, yes, it's worth it. Because not only am I, you know... I'm just starting out, guys. So you're seeing what I'm making just starting out. Um, once I become more consistent and I'm working every single week instead of taking, you know, the first two months I've worked, I've had two weeks off. The first month, I was fixing the truck. In the second month, I took a week off in vacation. Um, so, I mean, there's just so much to think about and stress about and be happy about in running a business. Um, there's endless amounts of paperwork, you know, and then when you when you get all your stuff, then you got you, all your receipts, you have to put all those into the program, so it accounts for, it does all that. You have to put all that stuff in though. And the second you start paying other people is the second you start losing money, so. You got to man up and, you know, just do it yourself if you want to make money. Um, the first month, uh, May, I didn't pay myself in May. June, I paid myself $2,500 and that's enough to pay all my bills and that was it. Nothing on top. Um... And part of that is because we're saving, we're doing what's called an emergency fund for the business, right? So we're saving, we're, we're going to try and save $40,000 um, for the business, for breakdowns. You know, a motor blows up, a transmission goes out, uh, rear ends go out, you know, you got to replace a bed because it's wore out. You know, all those things they all wear out guys and like if you did like I did and you buy it, this old pile of junk you will constantly constantly be buying new parts constantly guaranteed um so is it worth it to buy an old truck or to buy a new truck you're going to have to make that call yourself um i bought an old truck cuz that's all i could afford with cash Right, and uh, I'm not afraid to do the work myself, so I've done all the work myself, you know, pretty much, except for the frame that was a little above my skill level. I think it's worth it. There's tons of money to be made, you just got to do it right. You got to do it right, you got to keep everything, you got to have programs like QuickBooks. Because if you don't, there's no way to track everything, right? And the second you, you're not tracking stuff, you're losing money. Guaranteed it will fly out so fast you won't even, you won't even know it came in. Um, so you got to be tracking it. But yeah, there's definitely money to be made. You guys seen, you know, pretty much what I've made. Um, you know, $31,000 pretty much in two in I want to say two months but it's not two months because I took two weeks off so month and a half give or take thirty one thousand um, and total expenses thirteen plus
plus 5. So 18000 in expenses um, that are expenses that have popped up. I mean, if my motor blew tomorrow, I'd be out of business type deal because I don't have the money. If my transmission went out tomorrow, I would be out of business, you know. A rear end blew up. I'd I'd be able to I'd be able to do that, but it would be tough, you know. You guys can see business checking, thirty seven hundred dollars. So right now I got enough to cover, you know, fuel for next month and insurance, and that's it so far. You know, until some more checks come in. So that's basically, you know, when you get started, you're basically just making enough to make it. You know what I mean? You got to save so much money. So just imagine this with an extra $5,000 a month bill if you have a new truck or, or $2,000 a month with a new truck. You, you can make lots of money, guys, but you have to have a big startup money to start it. You know, and... I almost sunk, guys. I almost, you know, I almost didn't make it. We almost didn't make it because uh, I only had 10 grand and fuel, like, my first month, you can see how many expenses we had in my first month. I only had 10 grand. See how much went out? That's how much went out, 13000 I only had $10,000. We got lucky, and one of the guys that I was working for paid me the next day on three of my invoices. So I had three grand, and that was able to get me through, you know. And then I took that week off because I didn't want to spend money on fuel until I got some more money in, you know. And so I just eased into it, you know. You got to grow slow. You can't grow. There's no get rich quick, okay. I just want to get that across to you guys. Dump trucking is not a get rich quick scheme, okay? You have to work hundreds of hours and do endless amounts of things that you don't want to do. But you have to do them in order for your family to eat. And that's pretty much what I wanted to explain to you guys. And I hope you enjoy the video. And don't forget to pound that like button. And pound the subscribe button, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one, okay? And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments section, please. I'll get to those. Also, check out my Patreon, my Facebook pages, and my Instagram. And uh, if you want to check those out, just click on uh, the image where my, my face is. Click on that, and it'll bring you to my channel. And then on the left, the right side of the screen... Um, there's some little icons you can click on those and it'll take you straight there. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.